Take a look. This prominent corner in downtown Green Bay has sat lifeless for about 15 years, but that is all about to change. Good evening, everyone. The plan is to renovate the former Daily Planet into backstage at the Meyer. And this is what it's expected to look like on the corner uh, someday. It calls for theater banquet space on the first floor, office space above. The building, of course, is on the southeast corner of the intersection of East Walnut and North Washington in downtown Green Bay. It's connected to the Meyer Theater, has been for years. That's where Fox 11's Ben Crumholtz is right now. And Ben, bring us up to date on when this project's expected to start. Well, Tom, this is a fast track project. Construction is expected to start in either March or April with the goal of being ready by the end of the year. That might seem like a quick turnaround, but people behind the project say this has been a long time in the making. This downtown corner hasn't been one city leaders have been proud of. It's a definition of blight. It's not, it, it's not what belongs there. The board of directors for the nonprofit Meyer Theater believes it will soon have what should be there. On the theater's 84th birthday, its supporters unveiled its future neighbor, backstage at the Meyer. We've been looking for this for 10 years. We've had a lot of starts and stops over the years with the Daily Planet, but now to see what it's going to become, and they're going to put a shovel in the ground soon, is a real enhancement to the Meyer Theater. PMI manages the Meyer Theater and will do the same for the banquet space. Let Me Be Frank Productions is just one group that plans to reap the benefits. It already holds 100 shows a year at the Meyer. It's a destination more because you have the ticket and you have the services. You have the food, you have the beverage, and you got the show. Backstage at the Meyer will also have a small stage. It'll host shows that make more sense than being held here on the big stage at the Meyer. It, it allows us to book both buildings at the same time. The project is estimated to cost $3 million. It will fall under a recently launched $4.5 million capital campaign for the complex. We're off to a good start already. Uh, the campaign has some real confidence uh, by some generous citizens who have stepped up and said they want to be a part of it, they want to support it. Theater officials, theater officials aren't saying how much money they've already raised. However, the Meyer family which gave about one and a half million dollars to restore the theater back in 2000 has already offered up a sizable donation. We're reporting live in Green Bay, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News.